And welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I am an old guy gaming, and we're going to continue our adventure here uh, in this awesome game. Uh, we are currently on the Groundbreaker. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, for myself, it's been several days, actually, uh, since I recorded the last episode, because I tend to uh, record several back-to-back -back and then uh, schedule them on YouTube. Uh, so it might take me just a little bit to get my own head back in the game here. Uh, but we're going to continue on and uh, continue playing this fun game. All right, so um, I think what we're going to do is we 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 worked we talked to Gladys, uh, who was the black market grandma lady, <laughs> and um, so what we need to do is uh, talk to this uh, Junlei Tennyson, uh, the Groundbreakers captain, and she also offered us a job back on Terra too. So that's the main quest. We we also got these side quests that we need to work on. Uh, so we got uh, the Empty Man. Uh, which is Vicar Max. He wants us to track down a scholar so we can learn more about this book uh, from M. Bacano, who's that's supposed to tell us about the secret of life or whatever. It's kind of weird. Um, and then we have weapons from the void, acquire the science weapon on the groundbreaker. Um, <clears throat> this suggests that we go into Gladys' shop and look for old records, but I don't know how we're going to do that when she's in there. We'll have to figure that one out. Um... Uh, we have to view a distress signal. Oh, okay. So this is this is actually this quest here. So I wonder if um, I guess it's a side quest that ties in with the main quest. I guess. Um, and then this solution uh, vital solution vital. Talk to Doctor Wanda Dorset in the sick bay. Uh, Corporal Wheeler at Groundbreaker Customs asked you to update Doctor Dorset in sick bay with the status of her shipment. Okay, let's uh, let's just work on that one now and we'll you know try and get some of these side quests out of the way and then get back to the main quest uh, so, so, oh wait why is it leading us back to gladys oh are, can you have you can have, can you have multiple quests active at the same time oh no 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 you got to double click on it okay gotcha gotcha yeah it might take me <laughs> an episode to get my head back in the game here guys but uh, we'll do it okay here we go there please don't make a scene dr fenhill i am not making a scene okay um should we talk to her let's do this first okay so dr wanda dorset 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 probably can't say i've seen you before i take it you're a freighter captain if you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Wheeler told me to tell you to get off get off his ass about your shipment. Wheeler says your shipment won't be coming in soon. What's going on? Better myself is in this the med bay. Um, yeah, let's just stay neutral here. What's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. By dates. <laughs> um, what do you need mechanicals for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Why is that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Hmm. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. Okay. Well, um, I guess I could try to find him for you. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Okay, so we got another, whoop, excuse me, personal space. Uh, we've got another destination then. Is there stuff we can loot back here? Oh yeah, that's all. <clears throat> Restricted access, authorized personnel only. Pick up Mardet ID cartridge. So how come I can pick that up and that's not stealing? Lubrin sign spray. So, okay, so since we have this ID cartridge, 
All right, yeah, we can go in there because we got that that shroud thing, Madoodle. Okay. Well, so I guess that's all we can do for this particular quest on the Groundbreaker itself. So what's the next thing? Distress signal that would requires us to go back to our ship and weapons from the void. Uh, another of Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking in Gladys's shop. Let's just activate that and see where it leads us. I think it probably just leads us back to her shop, of course. But is that something we have to be sneaky sneaky about or what? Can we look at this? Dr. Imferu. Okay. Messages. To Captain Irion. Subject. Where are my automex? I need a status update, Irion. I know uh, I know you boasted about the Scalia shortcut, but could you maybe venture through a pocket of space that isn't infested with pirates? You know, pirates, the ones who love cargo and hate rules. Here in Medbay, we've got blunt tools, watered down meds, long shifts, and shaky hands. Don't let me down. Okay. Return to root. Uh, logs. Staff shortage. I met my wits in coordinating with any authority outside of Groundbreaker. The board won't dispatch a surgeon unless June Lay agrees to share a third of all the docking revenue and Spacer's Choice won't send supplies unless we make an exclusive deal to use their products. No thank you. I've seen enough shoddy needles breaking off in, pa in patients' arms. I need to chat with June Lay about this, but she has problems of her own. Some of us are growing concerned about the cost of Groundbreaker's independence. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. That could be a uh, possible uh, precursor to a mutiny or something. Uh, all right, that's, so that's it, right? Messages, logs. Okay, looks like that's it. Uh, that would be stealing. All right, let's talk to these two individuals. Hello, Ellie. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Um. See him for a. We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Okay. As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Um, wait, you don't even like her, but you're checking in on her? You say that like it's weird. Uh... But why bother? Like I said, Jesse did me a favor and now I owe her one. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, <clears throat> that's all. Gotcha, okay. Um, well, I guess I could look in on Jesse Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Okay, so now we got a quest called Worst Contact. What do you have to say? What seems to be the problem? I'd like to see... Can I buy supplies from you? You seem well stocked. Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Oh, Jun Lei. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, how do you mean? We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. Right, I heard about that. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Right, okay. Um, any chance I could see Jesse Doyle? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, what was she admitted for? I'm afraid patient matters. Yeah, are figured that. <laughs> um, okay. Take care. All right, so I guess if we're going to get in to see Jesse Doyle, we're going to have to do the sneaky, sneaky thing. Dr. Dorsett's a deft hand with a blade. Hardly leaves a scar. Oh, that's good to hear. Um, okay. <coughs> oh, stay away from that. Don't don't need to be getting a cold. Alright, so we could go sneaky sneaky in here. Operating room and quarantine. Oh shit, do we want to go into quarantine though? I don't think. Alright, here. Let's um let's do worst contact. 
Yeah, see, she's in the quarantine section. Boy. I don't know. Do we want to do that? All right, here. Let's try it. Whoa, shit. He's looking this way. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think he'll pat and then look at, at that terminal there. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, shit, 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 shit. You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. Okay. Bard! Uh-oh. Um... What the hell? Oh. To the last ratchet on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You whole-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Um, Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly lethally contagious. Yeah, fine. right. So left alone. I don't believe it. Um, intimidate. Open the door before I kick it down. <laughs> fine, rotten there for all I care. Um, well, I'm not. <laughs> you guys have probably noticed I'm not doing a very job of playing a, a bad a bad guy, am I? Um, so I don't have time for this. Open that damn door. <laughs> Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. <laughs> Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Okay, so we still have our stealthy thingamadoodle on. All right, so Jessie is, uh, she's got a stocking cap on, so I wonder if that means she might have cancer or something. Well, let's talk to her. <coughs> the truth is, I'm not sick. Oh. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. Gotcha, okay. You uh, ain't with the board, are you? No. See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Um, okay. I do work for the port, actually. <laughs> um, Ellie asked me to help you, so what's... So that's what I plan to do. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. What'd you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding uh, denizen of this ship, I swear. Okay. Yet you think the board has had someone follow you and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one. Killer? In my line of oh, work, crap. that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. In your line of work? All right, I'll oh. press this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. Oh, okay. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Hmm. What's this have to do with the board? Udon was my buyer for when I'd acquired the diamond. Oh. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Ah. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. What? Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Um, all right. I guess I'll talk to Udom for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. <laughs> or I guess I should say Ellie is one, huh? Uh, all right. So, yeah, we got to go talk to Udom again. So since we're in here, we might as well relieve them of some of these medical supplies that they're actually really desperate you know to have 
Okay, we're gonna run out of stealthy, stealthy. Can't open that. Whoa, can they see us through the window? doesn't appear to see us. Okay. Let's steal all this stuff. So what we're, so we just ran out of stealthy stealthy, so we're going to have to time this so she doesn't see us. So she goes over there, takes a look see. Then she walks over that way and looks at the terminal. So it's probably about that moment that we should be popping out the door. <clears throat> then she comes this way. Hopefully she doesn't see me in here. Oh, don't look too close, lady. <laughs> She's looking right at me. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Maybe that's maybe that's like a one way glass or something. Okay, she walks back that way. Then turns around and looks. Okay, so I think we got her pattern down. Let's take a peek in here. Oh, we can't open that door. Okay. So let's just watch her again. She's going to come that way. Then she's going to go look at the terminal. Okay, now's the time to go. Piece of cake. wonder if we should uh, sneak into the operating room, too. If we were going to do that, now would be the time while she's looking through that window. Um, I probably lost... That window of opportunity. Okay, yeah, let's not let's not go in the operating room right now. Let's just keep moving here. Okay, so what do we have to do? I guess we have to go back and talk to Udom. Um, and we need to find uh we need to find the captain of, of the groundbreaker too. I think. I think we do. Can't remember why we need to find her. All right. <clears throat> so, I guess yeah, let's uh let's just continue on this quest, I suppose. So, we'll go back and talk to Udom. But now we're going to have to do some job for him. How do you do? Hello, Udom. Ah. Oh, how might I assist you? Um, I'm here about Jesse Doyle. I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Oh, shit. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Compulsory donation. Um, she's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indenture contract. Uh, yeah, because I'm not going to pay it off for her. Screw that. That's not unreasonable. No, nope, it's not. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? She's hiding the sick bay to avoid assassins. I'm sure she'll prefer work. The way I see it, she doesn't have much choice. None, I suppose. But if she doesn't show up for work, kill her like you planned. Um. Yeah, let's go the neutral option. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Um, that's it. Yay, we got a level. Woot woot. Okay, so, um, points available 10. Why are all those red? Oh, because, oh shit, we gotta eat and drink. We are, uh, kind of in bad shape, aren't we? Where is... Oh, we're not in super bad shape. Just kind of bad shape. 
All right, well, um, we're pretty much been working on ranged dialogue and stealth skills. So let's continue uh, to do that. So we'll put, say, three points there, three points there, and two points there. And do we have a uh, do we have a perk this time? Can't remember. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, that'll be the next level up. All right, now we gotta go back and tell what's her name that she's now a slave. I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. Oh, she's right there. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even, except being right. That's nice too. <laughs> Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. Very true. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Thousand coin, nice. Uh, watch yourself while I'm gone. Um, I'll be on my way. Okay. There's no way I was going to pay her debt out of my own money. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want her to be assassinated either. CNP pancake mix now requires no mixing. Seriously, don't mix it. Don't. <laughs> okay. Sublight. We haven't talked to those that outfit. Um. Ike's Armory. I don't think we've been over here yet either, have we? You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. Mm, we also a good have point. a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, we have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Um, are you a spacer yourself? Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked Eridanos, indentured to the corporations. They did what after... Wait, they did what after the what? Not from around here, are you? After leaving Earth, they worked a local gas giant from a floating refinery. Dangerous work. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. Gotcha. Okay. Let me see what you got for sale. Um. Yeah, so he's he's got a bunch of melee weapons for sale. What do we have to sell? Do we have any junk to sell? No. We must have already taken care of that the last time. And uh, I don't want to sell any of this stuff. Sneak plus five. Lock pick. Plus... We probably should have put that thing on. Okay. Um, so, let's see. We need to... Anti-Cleos. Is that like a... Auntie greeting. Potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen. A home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Let's see what you got. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. <laughs> protein. Facial protein ingestion tubes. Bag of tobacco corn ears and a pipe patch. Wait a minute, I thought you were, like, serving food. This is, like, tobacco. What the hell? That's weird. Okay. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading Oh, bounty drone. Noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Yeah, let's... Report any sightings to your local... Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of... Have you seen this man? No, wasn't there supposed to be, like, a board we could take, uh, bounty jobs at? I want to do those again because that was kind of fun that when we did that on uh, the planet. Okay, so what do we got going on here? This is engineering. Ooh, it's hot in here. Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub level. Advertisement for the following story. Oh, who cares about that? Um, Edna Ingmeyer. Good law, the heat in here is so unbearable, I can hardly even concentrate. June Lei better hurry up with those damn repairs already. Yeah, we need to find June Lei, because her name keeps coming up. Oh, there she is right there. 
Jun Lee Tennyson. Hello, Jun Lee. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. So wait, is she the captain or the chief engineer? Or maybe she's both. Uh, oh guy, oh guy, nice place you got here, chief. I'm captain of the end. I recently unshackled from Groundbreakers. Impound. I don't plan on staying long. Um, yeah, let's do this one. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. No problems at all. Um, I'll try not to start any fights, but I might have to end some. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. I think this is probably a smart-ass remark. <laughs> um, I'll, yeah, I'll do, well, we have been stealing stuff, but not, not like we're going to tell her that, though. Ain't that always the way? Mm-hmm, that's always the way. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Um, I'm just passing through. <laughs> Uh, okay, now that my ship's out of impound, I can safely say I'm headed for Monarch. Um, yeah, I guess that's... I can tell her that. I don't know why I wouldn't. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Well, thank you very much. I heard you have a heat problem. What's going on? What's it like being commander around here? You don't have a lot of faith in the board. Excuse me. Um, yeah, let's um, let's go ahead and, and go right to the heat problem. Groundbreakers radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. I'm sure your capable staff can stay out of the problem. Why haven't you fixed them yet? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room for compromise? Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. Um, yeah, surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone on board, will be cooked alive. That's not good. Um, you need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. <laughs> Is there a way I can help? How do the heat radiators work? Yeah, let's ask that question first. A simple question with a complicated answer. One that I unfortunately don't have time to give. Not with our situation being so dire. Can't you just give me, like, the short version? Um... Alright, let's, um... Yeah, let's use our intelligence, because we're good at XP. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Oh, okay, so we gotta go into the back bays, and it's probably gonna have, like, monsters and shit, right? Back bays, am I supposed to know where that is? How do I know that the parts are still there? Got it, I'll take care of that right now. Um, yeah, we're, ex but there's a catch, right? Yeah, let's go with that one. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Okay, lower deck, long abandoned. Um, you can't get these parts anywhere else. Couldn't we try to talk this out with whoever's down there? Have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? Um. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. Oh, that's not good. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Um, none taken. Flash a <laughs> rude gesture with both hands. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Okay. Um, couldn't we try to talk this out with whoever's down there? Nah, let's go shoot him. I'll go get these parts on the Good. back bay. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. We need to get some action going. I know we've done a lot of conversation, but the thing about these kind of games, you know, is you kind of want to go through and talk to everybody if, you know, if you want to be thorough, which I do for the most part. And, um... Uh, but yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and do this next part of the quest. However, we are out of time. So uh we will go ahead and wrap up this episode here, and then uh, we'll pick we'll pick up pick it up right uh, where we leave off, and hopefully we'll get some action going in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, uh, leave comments, share out the video, all those good things. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.